Assalamu alaikum dear students this is Wajid Risha and today we are going to explain the topic Galvano meter which is given on page number 130 in the book what is a galvanometer galvanometer is a measuring device or a circuit element or an instrument used in physics lab and uh, other experimental work which is used to detect the electric current instrument used to detect the electric current is called galvanometer construction of the galvanometer is poles of the magnet north south armature wounded coil and a cylindrical shaft iron core and one terminal is down another terminal is taken up like this and as an external uh, system or indicator we normally use a needle like this these two are the poles of a magnet north and south poles this portion is called armature armature is basically a wounded coil around a cylindrical iron cylinder one terminal is given to complete the circuit done another may be given in upward direction and to show the external moment or deflection of the coil for the indication of the current we attach a needle so this is the construction armature magnet What is armature? A coil wounded around a cylindrical iron core, iron body. That is the construction of the basic construction of galvanometer. The most modern galvanometers are of moving coil type and are called the arsenal galvanometers. It mainly consists of a rectangular coil, a fine wire wrapped around the aluminum frame, is suspended by conducting ribbons. A soft iron core, if is fixed between cylindrically concave poles N and S, north and south. The circular shape of the poles of the magnet is just because to concentrate the magnetic field to this area where we have put a cylindrical armature which is effective for the indication of the current. Working principle of galvanometer is torque acting on a current carrying coil in a magnetic field and the torque value is given by N B I A cos of theta 
where ta is used for torque, n is number of turns of the coil, b is magnetic field applied externally, i is the current flowing through the coil, and a is area of the coil. Angle is the, this angle theta is the angle between magnetic field and plane of the coil. How does it work? How a galvanometer is used? for the detection of the current. As a simple mechanism, if for example, we have already discussed that if a current carrying coil is placed in a magnetic field, externally applied, so because of this current flowing through the coil, an electromagnetic field is again generated. Because of that electromagnetic field, an attraction, attraction or repulsion, interaction between the two magnetic fields, one externally applied, another is generated by the current. So a net torque is acting on the coil and because of that torque, the coil start rotating. So whenever some current is passing through this coil, so the coil rotates. And as the coil rotates, we can understand that there must be some current flowing through the coil. So if for example, theta is the twist or a twisting angle. If some current is flowing through the coil, so the coil must be twisting, the coil must be rotating. And because of that rotation, the current is indicated, shown. So if this theta is the angle of twisting in the coil, so we can write that restoring torque is equal to C into theta, where C is a constant of proportionality. The more and more twisting of the coil is there, so we can say more and more restoring torque must be there. As we have some torque produced in the coil because of the flow of the current in the coil, so there must be, because of the springy system, that because of this slinky, it, is a, it produces a restoring torque, which basically brings the coil back to its initial position after the removal of the current. So restoring torque is equal to C theta. The torque and the restoring torque, the torque produced by the current and the anti-torque, the restoring torque produced by this slinky spring are equal in magnitude. So we can write that torque is equal to NBIA is equal to C into theta. We can write I is equal to C into theta divided by N B A. This relation shows that <coughs> as we know that C, N, B and A, area of the coil is constant, magnetic field applied externally is constant, number of turns in the coil is constant and C is absolutely constant, has a constant of proportionality. So we can write that I is equal to constant into theta. We can again show the relation between the current flowing through the coil and deflecting angle, twisting angle of the moving coil. So, more and more angle of deflection is produced in the coil because of the current, so we can indicate, we can conclude that more and more current will be flowing through the coil. So this is the theory of galvanometer and we have another uh, 
an old type of galvanometer and a new one. The old type galvanometer is that we just put here a mirror instead of the needle an old type of the galvanometer they used to install a mirror, a lamp and a scale. This is a mirror, lamp and a scale. For example, this is zero point of the scale at zero current. So, when some current is flowing through the coil, the light falls on the mirror, it is reflected back to the same scale. So, when some current is passing through the coil, deflection of the coil is there and it can be shown, it can be indicated by the movement of the mirror, incident and the reflected light. Thank you and have a nice day.